So I'm curious, how, how often do you set a daily intention, hoping, dreaming that what you've dreamed of will happen and then it always falls flat? What you're dreaming of just doesn't happen. Here's the thing that happens to so many of us. And it really comes down to how we're setting the intention more than the intention itself. I'm Dr. Shivani Gupta, I'm an Ayurvedic practitioner. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about setting daily intentions in a way that's gonna help us get what we want. So stay tuned. So let's start with how you're setting your daily intentions. Are you actually doing this every single day consistently? Are you setting your daily intentions in the morning first thing? So many of us wake up and we're on Instagram first, Facebook second, checking our email and we're just hooked into the chaos of the day. I do that a lot. I hook right in and I'm like, oh my gosh, I've got texts already when I wake up. And then I say, you know what, wait a minute. Wait a minute, this is not the way I'm meant to start my day. And I put my phone down and I take a moment. And it can be in bed. This doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't have to be on a meditation corner and a meditation cushion in a yoga room. It can just be right in your bed. And so you can take a moment, whether you lie down flat like in Shavasana, or you just sit up for a few moments and lean your head, your back against the back of your headboard and tune in. Ayurveda teaches us meditation pranayam and daily intention setting because it wants us to have a GPS to our life. We're not meant to get on a ship and have no udder, no, no rowing uh, tools, nothing there to help us get where we're meant to go. We're not meant to get on a boat without a map and hope that we get to where we want. And so adopting this practice of morning meditation with your daily intention setting is key to achieving your health goals, your business goals, your life goals, and all the things that you want. It just comes down to setting this habit in place, like all the other Ayurvedic rituals and habits, to help you get exactly what you want. Here's an interesting fact for you. Harvard Business School published that we're 42% more likely to achieve our goals if we write them down. So are you writing down your goals every day? Or are you just starting the day running and going and not setting out exactly what you're gonna do. Every day I have a top three. My top three things I wanna do at work, top three things I have to do personally so I don't fall behind and forget what's most important. And here's the thing, if I don't do that, I know that I'm gonna wake up at four or five in the morning that night and the first thing that will come to mind is, oh, you didn't pay that, oh, you didn't do that, you need to handle this next. So instead of losing sleep over things, instead of blocking up our minds with 100 Chrome windows and tabs of things that we're not completing, instead writing down your daily intention can help you win at the day, at the week, at the month, at the year, and then eventually at the decade. And so setting intentions for me is the first step in achieving my health goals. I don't assume that I'm gonna win at my health goals if I don't plan for it. So every Sunday I actually sit down with my planner and I schedule my workouts. I schedule the meal plan. I schedule self care. I do everything that day. And if I feel like I'm ever falling off the horse with self care, I'll make a new list in my phone called this weekend, try for this list, try to do these things. And so the more you build this habit of setting daily intentions, the more likely that everything that you want in life will come for you. And here's the thing, this summer, right in May, I was presenting and speaking at a conference of the top 100 founders in health and wellness who have big dreams for the world. And I shared this thing I drew out called my six cylinder strategy. And this is a strategy I drew out a few years ago in my business where I said, you know what, we're gonna, we have a six cylinder car and eventually when we get this one running beautifully, we're gonna upgrade it to an eight and then a 12. But for now, within these six cylinders, the last strategy I had, I wrote a big X and I put miracles. I said, I'm leaving room for miracles in this business that I'm building. And I know that the level of intentions and love that I'm putting into this thing will lead to those miracles happening. And then at this conference, I shared so many of the miraculous things that just happened to us in the last year that we couldn't have even expected. We couldn't have even dreamt of asking for them. But it was by leaving that space for miracles that it came to be. And so I encourage you to do the same. Every day when you're writing those intentions out, leave room for the miracles that you crave. 
And then what you can also do is really customize them to your dosha. So if you haven't taken my dosha quiz, go to drshivani.com. And if you don't know much about your dosha, check out my dosha videos here on YouTube. But Ayurveda shows us that we can leverage our dosha, keep it balanced, get in the best alignment possible. And by doing so, that is when our intentions and dreams come true. So understanding that a vata person, for example, needs to be more grounded and centered. So maybe as a vata, every morning, one of your intentions is, I'm going to be more steady and grounded and centered. If you're a pitta, maybe you set that intention of, I'm going to be calm and patient. It's probably why one of my daily intentions is, I want peace. Because I know I'm a pitta and I'm going to get frustrated by my day. And as a kapha, it's setting that intention of, I'm going to be positive and positive about change and be energized about my day. Because those are some of the things that kapha needs to call into their life to be more balanced. So by setting the intention right up front in the day, in that morning meditation moment, you're setting yourself up for success within your own dosha and constitution. And here's the thing, you can also set a mantra or an affirmation that you say every single day. Maybe if you're a vata, you say something like, I am grounded and I'm focused throughout the day. If you're a pitta, you say something like, I am calm, cool, and collected throughout the day, which is what we as pittas need. And if you're a kapha, you can say, I embrace positive change in my life. Kaphas need to say something like that because they don't typically like change. And so building those affirmations is in is key. And here's the thing. I teach a simple habit called tea time is me time. And really tea time is me time is a meditative moment to check into your intentions. What is your intention? What do you need today to feel better? So checking in throughout the day, a couple times a day is key. And then also having a notebook ready and setting those intentions in writing is also key to helping you achieve your goals each and every day. So Ayurveda teaches us to set that compass first thing in the morning. One way I do this is when I wake up, I touch the ground, touch my forehead and say, thank you for the day. And I set my first intention. Mine is always peace. Can I please have peace today? <laughs> but for you, it could be different. It could be, can I have more energy today? Can I be focused today? Can I get what I want today in my life? So take that moment, take a meditative moment and really tune in. What is it that you're calling in? And then I encourage you to pick up a notebook, any beautiful notebook that you have, and write down what your intentions are. Maybe you're writing a gratitude practice. What you're grateful for and what you put your attention on can be the biggest game changer because putting your attention on the positive is gonna reduce stress in the body, it's gonna support your cardiovascular health. All these good benefits come just from a gratitude practice as well. But by setting that daily intention, your goal is tune into what you want, call in what you want, Put it in writing so it's that much more likely to happen and support yourself in achieving your goals and dreams. In Ayurveda, we know that where we put the intention is key. It's interesting, Tony Robbins teaches where, where focus goes, energy flows. And in Ayurveda, we think of it as where focus goes, prana flows. Prana is our life force, our life force energy, our vitality. My goal for you is to bring body, mind, and spirit into alignment and have all of that life force that you have within you channel into what you want. For me, all the work I do is to impact the world and change the world and make everyone healthier. That's my dream. So I set that intention in my notebook as the one that I'm working towards each and every day. So I encourage you to take this moment and reflect what are your dreams for the month, for the quarter, for the year. Set those health goals down in place as well. Be concrete, be detailed about what you want, and then those building blocks that you're gonna put in place to get there. By putting things in writing in this chaotic world, we're able to really focus in and hone in on what matters and help ourselves achieve the goals that we have for our health, for our well being, in our business, in our life, and call in all the abundance that we deserve. So I hope you enjoyed this video today. I can't wait to hear what you do with this and how you set your own intentions. Send me pictures of your awesome notebooks. I'd love to see how you're incorporating this into your life. And definitely like and subscribe to this channel. I'm sharing so many videos on Ayurveda and how it can help you each and every day.